Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about how to control a storm. Um, first let's define these words here. I'll define the word storm to begin with. Storm means excessive broadcast, multicast or unicast traffic received on a particular interface in one second. Okay, I think this is clear. And what is excessive? Excessive I, um, here the keyword excessive depends on your configuration meaning as a network admin you might say okay on this particular interface if we see more than 500 packets of broadcast traffic in one second we call it excessive that's it so we need to define what is excessive what is not which leads us to thresholds um, Here we'll be talking about how many cars there can be here in one second here. See, this is a road, as you see, and we have many cars. And I have two black lines here. And we are going to be talking about how many cars there can be here in one second. For the time being, I see only three cars, which is fine. But for the next second, when these cars leave, there will be four cars in this place, right? And um, please pay attention here, rising threshold is four cars, which means if we have four cars in this place in one second, it will hit our threshold, rising threshold. And so what is going to happen when it hits the threshold? Here Sunupi, our Sunupi is waiting here, he will be blocking or it says here Sunupi will let no car enter the road till it goes below falling threshold. What is falling threshold? For, uh, and and uh, I have written here falling threshold is two cars. So uh, when I have four cars here, it uh, it, it means it, it hits rising threshold and we have to I mean the Sunopi sh has to block the road till it goes below falling threshold which is two cars now, I should have below two cars which means only one car only when we see one car will Sunopi allow cars to enter that's it so I'm going to be defining two thresholds a rising threshold and a falling threshold a, a rising threshold means uh, when I have four cars here uh, it, it means I have to wait till the number of cars in this place goes below uh, what I define as a fully threshold that's it and I will be using this topology I have got one switch and one router and they are connected to each other and this switch has this IP, IP address 192.168.1.100 and my router has 192.168.1.1 um, Unfortunately I'm using a GNS, no, no, packet tracer I don't have real gear and, and the configuration is really easy This is my router and this is my uh, switch. I would like to um, configure storm control on this particular interface, gig0 slash 1. And all I need to do is this config interface gig0 slash 1, storm control and question mark. When I do storm control and question mark, the only option that I see is broadcast, whereas I should be seeing. Uh, something like this in a real device when I do some question marks here. I'm using uh, like four options here um, Like action multicast and unicast, but I'm using I, I can I, I can see only broadcast in this example and The reason is I'm using the packet tracer the packet tracer Cisco packet tracer. That's why and Broadcast basically I'll, I'll be uh, controlling broadcast storm only and question mark level and question mark again so when I do question mark the only option that I see is this 
and I should be seeing two other options which are bits per second and packets per second the only option is uh, basically will uh, allow me to uh, specify a uh, percentage and I'll be doing 0 uh, 0.01 and I'm done that's it Uh, I, I'm setting this value uh, just to see uh, how it works in Packet Tracer. And uh, one more thing, I can't define a falling threshold in Packet Tracer, uh, which I should be right after this one. And here, what will happen is the switch will drop it when the traffic exceeds the threshold. That's it. As soon as it gets below the rising threshold, it will allow the traffic again. Now, um, I will be pinging 192.168.1.100, I'll hit enter, see it's not working, because show um, storm control broadcast, see, the current rate is higher than what I specified, so that's why uh, the switch is dropping my packets so it's not working. So storm control is quite easy and I hope this video helped you understand storm control. If you have any questions please leave your comments and thanks for watching.